But we're here because besides, you have let's, a brief background. You have an extensive background in media. Can That's true. Us? That's true. Well, going back to uh, my dad was a TV director. So even when I was a little kid, I was in the TV booths in New York. Uh, ABC and stuff like that. And it just kind of was in my blood. So I've always been in the TV business. W-O-R, uh, you're a reporter. Yep. It's, it's a reporter, you got, you got a producer. Three, three generations going, because your daughter is a big wig, too. Well, my daughter. Show. Your daughter. Oh, so going straight to the daughter. No, no, okay. I, I, your, your, your dad was doing something. Adam said he only invited me on because he wanted to talk about my, my kids. Your daughter, what's your daughter's name again? Uh, her name is Emma. I mean, she's on Dallas. She's been on... What, what are she's on of? Dallas. Second season starts February 24th, and she's one of the main characters. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Why don't you... She's like, the ingenue. Why don't you get on that gravy train and screw this working thing? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, she'll retire in a few years, and then I'll be taken care of. You're like a good dad. Like, do your own thing, and you're old dad will be in the salt mines himself in, in, in Lambertville. So um, I'm actually in the salt mines right now. Uh, what is Otherwise the, known as Lambertville, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, since I'm here to kiss your butt because I want to use your great studio. What <laughs> That's you not give, the only thing you want to use. <laughs> what do you give, you know, what do you give a client at Green Birdie Productions? What, what is the benefit they would Oh, man, well, you know, uh, as you pointed out, I have a lot of experience. I, mean, I worked uh, 27 years in the TV broadcast industry in New York, uh, first for Channel 9, which had five different owners. Uh, the latest was UPN, and then Fox bought out UPN in 2005. So you've been through there. You, you and then I worked for Fox for a couple of years, and then I finally started my own business in uh, 2009. What, so, what does Green Bird Productions do? Green Birdie Productions, well, we, um, we do mostly uh, TV commercials for local small businesses. We do a lot of that for both uh, Cablevision and Comcast. Yeah, go to the website, which is actually, you have a good website. You Thank actually you. put money into it, so I actually have more respect for you. I hate when people say, like, we're serious, and they have a lame website. It's like I have a nice back. website. I have yeah, a nice yeah. website. But if, you, but if you really want to know what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, like I promoted being on here today, it would be our Facebook site. Yeah, yeah. Green well, Bird Facebook, Productions too. On Facebook. It's Facebook. a lot easier to update, uh, update that S Someone wants to get a television commercial done. Yes. They, they or, come to you. That's and, correct. And you, you deliver them. The finished product. Right. That's right, for ridiculously low rates. Right, right, right. Yes, right. and really yeah. high quality and low rates. So. That's what I mean. That's very what beautiful thing. Though. And you need it because, you know, no one reads newspapers today. Everything's Nobody. social media. Nobody. And you say you have that savvy, that sense. Could you make my nose small? If I came on and did your show. I probably could do that, but it would cost a little more. No, but could you... Medi to, medical science has no cure for your nose. What is your savvy? <laughs> I mean, do, would you make me feel relaxed? Would you give me your vision of how you wanted me to do a commercial? Or, yeah, or we'll would give you, you like a stiff drink when you come in. First, you need to learn how to speak English. <laughs> But well, so, would you, do, do people dictate what they want? Do you, are you, are they want you to be part of the creative process? Are you are that? You know, it runs the gamut, anywhere from you know, people who would say, hey, I have absolutely no idea how to uh, put together a TV commercial. Mm -hmm. Or we also do a lot of website so you videos. Have, you can hold hands. Because, you know, you can go more than 30 seconds on a website right. video, usually about a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, you know, you, keep, you have to capture people's attention, and right. then you don't want to bore them. So you don't want to be too long. Right, right. So I get that a lot from clients. You know, they want to do, hey, let's do a website video that's five, ten minutes long. You I'm have like, to tell them, like, no, no. No, right. we're going to keep it to two minutes. Right, you know right. what I mean? Because the whole thing is you want to generate a phone call. Right. You want to get some business out of it. That's what I mean. You know the whole, you holistically, you know about the camera, you know about the look, you know about social marketing. That's, you, right. you know, so that's what I mean. So they get the whole k k kittle and caboodle. Absolutely. absolutely. Well, you know, like I said, I was a producer for, you know, 15 years of the 27, 28 odd years that I was in broadcast. And so I wrote about you know, many thousands of right. news articles, uh, um, news items rather for TV. And, you know, the deadlines were severe. Mm -hmm. I used to work, I was a reporter, had a noon show. And they had to have a whole package w -O -O written and turned was, around by noon when I was right. the Trenton yeah, Bureau Chief. Right. Right. Well, and then that. we had to go back out again in the afternoon and then update it and then do another story and deliver it. And you know, they wouldn't pay us more than eight hours, so we didn't want to work more than eight hours. So it wasn't your, D it wasn't so. your DNA. <laughs> so if Kurt and I came to the fight, go ahead. The internet has expanded the kinds of commercials you can do. Yes. Uh, how much of your work comes from purely internet? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, everybody automatically posts stuff on YouTube. But we do a lot of corporate stuff because I have a beautiful green screen studio. Uh, you know, which we can do a lot of special effects. So, um, and I do oh, a I lot of corporate right. stuff because they like to see that they, they work for a company, let's say in Switzerland, they like to see the building behind them and they have a big shot of the logo mm -hmm. in the back and all that kind of stuff. And so we do a lot of that. And those, that's all for web, for the, you know, internet. You know, a lot of them are training videos for like new employees, right. uh, promotional stuff. If you go onto websites and they'll show you different machines they make. How do you get uh, your clients, so is it word of mouth? That's the best, you know. It's word of mouth mostly. So that's, that shows the staying power, yeah. that you actually have a good product and everything. Yeah. But, but your daughter would, doesn't but even But you don't have a video on the internet, you know, you have uh, the meta tags, you know, you have the uh, right. SEO, which is uh, 
it makes search it easier. To, right, yeah, right. search uh, optimization from videos. Um, Google and you, you know, Google owns YouTube, so right. and you, Google is like 80, 85 percent of uh, all uh, searches online. So the fact that they own YouTube means if you post on YouTube, you're going to be found on Google. Right, right. So that's right, all right. part of the deal. You know, that's why we're on Google Plus video. though. It bumped Breezy McBearman so far up up uh, in the search engine, I think. Yeah? And everything. Yeah, it works that way. Yeah. So it doesn't know what Well, if you type in the actual like, name, you're going to come in number one. But if they write in, if they type in Variety Show, how do you, how do, you do? Variety Show? Well, I don't discuss that. Your anyway, <laughs> what, your, page, your studio, what page do you land on? <laughs> your studio is in a fascinating old building right yes. in the middle of Lambertville. That's true. That's a nice attraction to have. I love the location of it. I mean, it's right on Bridge Street, about a block and a half uh, from the bridge that goes over to New Hope, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. uh, which is a really cool town. I'm getting a phone call. I should have turned that off. Sorry about that. Is that one of your women? Yeah, it's one of my many women. I know. Do you ever use <laughs> that? Adam's not jealous. <laughs> and being a single man about town, do you, do you ever? Can, we won't get into the casting couch, but you kind of have a certain power, soiree. All right, now, no, now you're going too far. Okay, I told I, you before I, we started. He, you weren't going to ask me about the casting he's, he's couch. He's past his five-minute time limit, and now he's not making sense. <laughs> well, we can always leave. But anyway, of Kurt and I came in, and the final two minutes, we came in seriously. We came in. How would it work, though? Let, let's say, like, we wanted to... Well, you guys know point. what you're doing, so I would just... I know. Oh, wait a second. Feet. You're assuming. <laughs> you're doing a lot, I'd give you the really. keys to the place. I would just leave. I'd leave the cameras. You would sit us down, though, and ask us what we want, and you would, you would give and say what we should do and, and kind of work with yeah, us? Yeah, well, usually it's just all about the price at first with the client. They're like, how much is this going to hit me? You know, so, uh, you yeah, know, I, I, try, I, I explain what, uh, you know, they say what they want, and then I explain what they can afford. My and budget what is they, $5. Exactly. What, what you can you do for five? A cup of coffee around the corner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. But usually, so. do you wrap up a shoot? Let's say you wanted to just do a commercial. How long does it take usually? Three days, two days? You do it that day? They Honestly, if I'm doing a TV commercial for, uh, I do most of my, my commercials for Comcast Cable. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually one time I go over there for a couple of hours. Um, sometimes I'll go for a second time if I need to. Uh, it's usually within, let's say, 15, 20 miles of, uh, of my home base, and you so it's not it that too. big a deal. And you yep, and then I write the story up, I have it narrated professionally, and uh, you know, get it edited, and I can turn around very quickly because, like I was saying, in the news business, I had to turn around piece, you know, videos in the same day, mm -hmm. even two a day. Well, I still so like a very you, quick turnaround. I still like you, even though we, we we didn't discuss more about your daughter or your love life. But check out Mr. Bell. Greenbirdyvideo.com. Right. It's definitely worth going to, and a great place to have lunch afterwards, a little business meeting in Junta, where you discuss your creative pursuits with him. Oh, for, this year, for five dollars, you can get a coffee and a brownie. I've been told. And, there you and go. a good price. And we'll there be you seeing you. So thank you, Rob Bell, and that is greenbirdyvideo.com.